Let's talk about Expedia <laughs> here. Expedia out with a miss on estimates, citing negative impacts due to severe weather. While demand has been markedly stronger since the start of the year, according to Expedia CEO, shares are dipping to the downside by nearly 6% after these latest um, earnings. The company is trying to say that things are improving already in January, that lodgings were up 20% in January compared with 2019. Um, and monthly growth did reach the high single digits in the fourth quarter, but you have to back out the effect of Hurricane Ian in October and of other various winter storms in December to get to that better growth. And I mean, you kind of can't back out weather, weather is something, I mean, as we were talking about with scooters and stuff, like it happens every winter, right? And yeah. hurricanes happen every hurricane season. So you, you kind of have to bake them in, I think. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, for that, we could even check in with our local kind of micro mobility correspondent, Mike Jong, who would let us know that, yes, uh, weather does impact. I love that guy's bike. Oh, bike man. is awesome. Solid bike. Jared Blickery also has bike. a. Follow the bike. has got two wheels. It's great. Jared has an indestructible scooter that yeah. sits upstairs near our desk. But anyway, that's micro mobility. <laughs> this right here is another part of travel, and that is Airbnb. Well, not Airbnb. That's next week. Excuse me. I'm just excited. But thinking about Expedia, one thing that they did call out was that total lodgings and that lodging is going to be something that'll be a pull through to next week when we discuss Airbnb but those gross bookings highest Q4 on record up 4% on a reported basis 6% like for like basis versus Q4 2019 so that's something they continue to kind of parse through some of these earnings reports and the calls with is to look for where that demand is continuing to hold up we've continued to hear about a counter cyclical recovery in travel and that continues to be one of the underlying stories here and we'll see if that holds true. It, it is holding true so far. So, of course, as you guys just mentioned, you had uh, Peter Kern, CEO of Expedia. He's coming on next week with us, noting that January was strong. That's good. I like those Hilton numbers this week. Occupancy mm. up across the board. Revpar up across the board. Good guidance as well. And if you really want to get crazy here, go back to the earnings release from Edgewell Personal Care. They're the maker of Banana Boat. They came on with us earlier in the week. They said uh, suntan lotion sales were, were looking pretty strong uh, as well. So it looks like, at least in the first half, people are paying up for vacations. And of course, you had those Disney theme park numbers. Those were good, too. But these numbers weren't great, yeah. right? Sales missed estimates, yep. bookings missed estimates, EBITDA missed estimates. I mean, you mentioned Airbnb, and I do think that, you know, you have to separate out, is demand for travel coming back? Yes, most certainly. Are these companies benefiting from it enough mm -hmm. to satisfy the street? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. So are we going to see which, which category? There's a little suspense now when it comes to an Airbnb or booking holdings, right? Are we going to see those companies come out and do better. You I guys. love suspense. That means people have to watch us, Julie. Exactly. And read our stuff. I love it. Well, yeah. the, the kind of comparable side of the business is that acquisition that they've made of Verbo. And so Verbo trying to make its best effort to become a verb like Airbnb has become verbified as well. Verbo it. I'm going to verbo it. It's, gonna, it just doesn't roll the same way, but. I'm Airbnb. Yeah. You would say yeah. Yeah. You guys good? You're right? Yeah, okay. sure. All right. We're fantastic, Ken. Okay. Right. We're doing great.